the question was how I would imagine a future congregant uh, um, uh, um, partaking in sacraments. Um, so when we look, let me just put on for a little bit my, um, my anthropological hat and take off my theological hat, right? Religion, every religion has the elements of narratives that are meaning giving. That is usually some question of beginning origin because it puts us in a narrative concepts, gives us a beginning, middle and end, and therefore counteracts the biological narrative that makes us all sperm and egg producing meat machines, right? Um, <laughs> which is not particularly meaning giving. Um, and then a religion usually has symbols, like in Christianity, the cross, um, and a symbol being defined as something that, symbola means literally to throw together, where you throw together two dimensions that really don't belong together. So you have the cross, um, and it throws together two laths, right, nailed together, and the meaning of God becoming flesh, and even experiencing death to understand us. And then we have rituals that embody the narratives, the meaning giving narratives and the symbols, right? And they are usually putting a community together. Liturgy is, a, and of course the Eucharist and baptisms. I'm not Catholic, so for me they're really only the two, but I'm happy to discuss the other five as well. But let's just stick with those two. When you think about, when you think about infant baptism, and that's the tradition I grew up with, the infant is, is baptized shortly after birth, so where it has not yet earned any place in the congregation. So, and in Germany, baptism is always done in a normal service, so it's always part of a normal service. It's not a special service. So basically, the congregation says, we accept you, infant, as a person, okay? And you don't have to fulfill any conditions, right? We co unconditionally accept you and therefore try to live up to God's standards having accepted you as a person already. And when you think about the Eucharist, it is a meal. And again, it's different in Germany, but I grew up there, so I can, so those are the traditions. It's not you go alone and grab the wine and the bread and leave. In Germany, they always are circles, right, where everyone together gets the bread, gets the wine, prays together, leaves, and then the next group comes up, which is why we only have Eucharist once a month, because it's a very lengthy procedure <laughs> if you have a full church. But in, in that way, it was meant to be a community, right? And so basically, when you look at baptism and, and, and Eucharist, the center in them is the welcoming into a community, the creation of a community. And that would make, but because my whole point is that we are so, sometimes have so much trouble consi considering other people as persons in our congregation or in our group, that I think robots p should participate in that. Because that they would challenge us to open our hearts to people or beings who are different than us. So I would, see, I would say partaking of the sacraments would be absolutely crucial.